Now, the Court of Arbitration for Sport is expected to make known its verdict on the Palma versus GFA case tomorrow. My colleague Thierry Nyan looks at the dynamics of a landmark ruling. Several months have gone by and there's no solution in sight uh, in the matter between the Ghana Football Association and Wilfred Osei Kweku Palma. And so we are hoping for Tuesday, September 1, to give us the announcement we've been waiting for. A very tense few weeks have just gone by uh, between uh, both parties as, they, as they've been, uh, you know, awaiting the results, uh, you know, from the Court of Arbitration for sports. As you recall, Wilfred Osei Kweku Palma was banned uh, from the GFA elections in 2019 uh, for his failure to pay a percentage to the Ghana Football Association, uh, you know, after a player sale. He's appealed that particular, uh, you know, ban at the Court of Arbitration for Sports, but that particular ban meant that the Ghana Football Association failed to pay their part, but Oseko Kupalma stepped in, he paid for the GFA uh, for the case to be heard. Um, you know, it's been eight full months after that, and we are still waiting for the verdict. It so happens that we are going to be getting the verdict from the Court of Arbitration. Now, another big one tomorrow, the annual Ghana Football Association Ordinary Congress um, will come off tomorrow at the GFA Technical Center in Pram Pram. The Congress was initially scheduled to take place on August 27, but was moved forward to tomorrow. The GFA says stakeholders are expected to observe COVID-19 protocols strictly.